So there's five things here. Number one, buy. Number two, store. Number three, learn. Number four, earn. And number five is hodl. So I'm going to walk through these kind of and just give my thoughts on what we can be doing right now. So if you're watching the show, I'm assuming you have some Bitcoin already. But you also probably feel like you don't have enough Bitcoin. And especially as the price keeps going up, you're going to feel that even more so. I've, I've felt that plenty of times in my life. And I still feel that every day. I'm like, I'm happy to see the price go up. But that means that every amount of dollars that I convert to Bitcoin, I'm actually going to get less Bitcoin in, in return for that. So the time to be buying is now. And I'm not going to tell you to go out and spend every single penny you have on Bitcoin. I would recommend that. But in terms of buying, get yourself up, get yourself set up in terms of how you want to be buying. So if you do have any sort of free cash flow right now, if you can sell a few things in your house, whatever that is, exchange that for Bitcoin. And set yourself up on at least two exchanges for this bull run. Because if you're somebody like myself who's going to continue buying, regardless of what the price is, you want to make sure that you, you have yourself set up on a few different exchanges. So number one is, is bull Bitcoin for sure for me, if you're in Canada. Um, I would avoid Coinbase at all costs. If you're somebody who's been buying Bitcoin and Coinbase, take your Bitcoin off there and find a new exchange. So set yourself up on like your main one, like bull, Bit bull Bitcoin would be for me, but then get set up on at least one more exchange because we've seen what happens when the price starts running up. These exchanges all go down for maintenance. And so whether you want to be selling it or buying it, you want to make sure that you always have a backup for that. So I, I don't love ShakePay, honestly, but they are probably the second most reputable exchange in Canada. Um, avoid Coinbase, like I said, regardless of what country you're in. I just think that Coinbase is not on our side here. So that's buy. Buy as much as you possibly can today and do it in a lump sum. If you have money, if you have 10,000 bucks and you're waiting to dollar cost average into this, put it into a lump sum today. Don't stretch this out because it's just going to keep going up. So that's number one, buy it. Number two is store it. Take a very good look at your current setup right now. If you're using a device like a Trezor or a Ledger or anything like that, you want to take this seriously because you have to, we had a quote on the show last week. It was from NVK and he said, secure your Bitcoin like it's worth 10x what it is today. So even though, you know, you might have $5,000 worth of Bitcoin and you don't really think that it's worth it to spend it on a cold card or something like that. It is. Not only is it worth your money, but it's also worth your time to learn how to do that. So yeah, you, you kind of have to, you're going to have a few trade-offs here. It's you're either going to have to invest your time into learning how to do that, or you're going to have to invest your money into hiring somebody who's done it before to help you through that. But if you have 5,000 bucks today, and things keep going up over these next year. And all of a sudden you're sitting on 25,000 bucks or more. You have to be ready for that. And the best time to be ready for that is today. So learn how to store that Bitcoin. Because if if you screw this up and you know Bitcoin does end up going 100x from here, you're, you're never going to get the amount of sats that you have today. So whatever amount that you have, make sure you're protecting that with every single ounce of you. Store it properly. Number three is learn. Continue learning as much as possible. You have to invest your time into this. And not only learning by watching videos, but learning by trying different things. So I always say to people, like, spend a couple hundred bucks and just learn how to do things. Learn how to set up a liquid wallet. Learn how to set up a Phoenix wallet. Because the more tools in your toolbox that you're going to have in the future the much better off you're going to be. For the most part, I think that there will be a small percentage of people who invest in Bitcoin today, 
and they don't think about it for the next 20 years and that's fine but not everybody's going to be that be like that if you're somebody who wants to start living on a bitcoin standard where you're earning fiat or bitcoin and you're holding it in bitcoin you're going to have to know the best way to spend that the best way to utilize that bitcoin and as this question is as this question or this comment says fees are going up so much lately you have to be ready for that you have to be ready for whenever you cash out your bitcoin i i doubt that people will be selling their bitcoin but anytime you want to spend it if you're going to be spending like a hundred dollars worth of bitcoin and it's going to cost you 10 or 20 dollars worth every time to do that that's not the best setup. So you want to be learning as much as you possibly can right now. Skip Netflix, skip whatever it is you like watching instead of for a while, just learn as much as, as you possibly can right now. And rock and roll in the chat. He says, number six, don't shit coin. It's bad for you. Let's take that back to the buy part then. Because that is that is something for most people here, I think everybody has a little bit of shit coins in their uh, in their wallet. So today, get rid of those. Send your send whatever they are to an Exodus wallet, swap it for Bitcoin, and move that Bitcoin into your cold storage. Or another idea for that is send your altcoins to your exodus wallet swap it for bitcoin and send that to your phoenix wallet pay the ten thousand dollar setup fee for your lightning channel set up your phoenix wallet and then use that money over these next couple of years use that those proceeds from your altcoins hold that as your like bitcoin savings account and that's what you can be using for purchases because it's all on lightning so if you're using your phoenix wallet you can actually find businesses who accept Bitcoin and you can pay them in Lightning without paying any fees on that. So sell the altcoins as part of the buy, but then also learn how to do that with your Phoenix wallet. Learn how to set yourself up for when you do spend that Bitcoin, you want to pay the, the smallest amount of fees possible with that. So let's learn. And learn, it, learn also includes like Noster. I, I'm well aware that I sound like a broken record on here, but I can't stress enough how important Noster is going to be. If you're a Bitcoiner and you want to learn about Bitcoin, if you want to interact with other Bitcoiners, there is no other place on the internet better than Noster. Twitter is a joke. Facebook, I don't think even knows what Bitcoin is. Most people on there. LinkedIn is even more of a joke than Twitter. If you want to get serious about Bitcoin, you have to get onto Noster. Start learning on there. If you just spend a couple hours a day on Noster, just reading posts, diving into different threads in, on Noster, you're going to learn a ton. And you're going to meet people, like-minded people like you are. And that's how you can start building your own Bitcoin network. You're going to find people who accept Bitcoin. You're going to find people who want to spend Bitcoin. That's where everything is going to be happening over these next couple of years is on Noster. So take the time to learn about it. Actually, last week on our Living in the Future Patreon account, we did two episodes on Noster. Not only just how to get set up, but how to utilize it, how to take advantage of this time in Noster. A couple, uh, we did about probably 10 best practices in terms of what you can be doing on Noster to help grow your network quicker because it is much different than Twitter. It's much different than Twitter. There's no algorithms. So it's a much different approach to the legacy uh, platforms that we're used to. So if you're interested in that, if you are somebody who wants to be serious about Bitcoin, not only buying it and watching the price and checking your phone every five minutes, but if you actually want to get involved with Bitcoin, you have to get into Noster. And so that is kind of going to be our one of our themes in living in the future tier is a real focus on Noster. So if you're interested, Click the link in the description that says living in the future. Check out the Patreon. There's a seven day free trial and then it's $5 a month after that. So we're setting ourselves up on there for what's coming. And if you want to be part of that, the first 44 members are going to be in for a treat. I'll just say that. 
it's kind of like the founding members of the, the living in the future tier. And we have kind of something in place where not only are, are you going to be able to, I just think that there's going to be so much happening in that over time. In this bull run, there's going to be so much that's happening in there. And I think the sooner you can get onto that, the better, because for that reason, the first 44 people who sign up are going to be the founders and they're going to have some rewards down the road, not only just by being in Bitcoin, but specifically to living in the future. Okay, little little check in with the chat here. Find a couple local Bitcoin meetups. You won't regret Bitcoiners are awesome. Orange Pill app, Noster, that's where you're going to be finding Bitcoiners. It's not going to be on Twitter. Twitter is a shit show. <clears throat> oh, look at this comment. Okay. Kira says, not sure if you have time in the show left, but I wrote a song I'm enthusiastic about sharing regarding Bitcoin. Okay. I'm up for it. Why not? We do things live here. Are you living? There's no bit. Jose says, are you really living if you aren't zapping? There's no better feeling than sending a zap to somebody. There's not. And I've been actually, I don't know how many people are familiar with Nostra on here or not, but I've been kind of for the last probably six months, I'd say, I've been doing only zaps. So on Noster, you have a couple different options. You can either zap somebody's post or you can just like, there's a little thing like this. It's like the like button of Noster. I haven't given out a like button in probably six months. Every time I see a post that I like or get any value from, I just zap it. And it kind of makes you, instead of just liking every post that you see, it kind of makes you be a little bit more selective in terms of what's actually worth a like. So pretty cool. And I, and I love zapping people. And it's just as fun getting zaps back for your posts. 100%, Johnny. Noster is Bitcoin. Twitter is XRP. Or Twitter's fiat. I can't stress that enough. If you're a serious Bitcoin, or if you want to really dive into this whole world of Bitcoin and set yourself up for what's coming, you have to get onto Noster. You have to get onto Noster. And that ties into the next one, which is the earn. A great way to do that. Get onto Noster, start connecting with people. And whatever it is you do, put that on onto Noster. Say I'm a graphic designer. I build websites. I do bookkeeping. I want to work for Bitcoin. Is there anybody out there on Noster who's willing to pay me to do that? And so you could still go to your job every day, nine to five, you get home. Instead of turning on Netflix, you do a couple hours of work for somebody on Noster and you earn Bitcoin. So you have to be setting yourself up for this to happen. You can't just join Noster and all of a sudden things are going to... Things are going to flow your way. You have to be preparing for it today. Holy Arnie's being a little brat. Uh, and just every place that you can, set yourself up on a shake pay card and every purchase you make. <laughs> God, what a baby. Uh, every purchase you make, instead of earning air miles, earn Bitcoin. You would not believe how over a couple of years, how much that adds up. Start looking for different apps that pay you in Bitcoin. There's a ton of different ones out there. I have a couple uh, videos on this channel of apps you can use to earn Bitcoin. Because even though it doesn't seem like a lot right now, whether it's 50 sats, 20 sats even, it, it seems like and not a lot because it's like one cent of our fiat. But we're not thinking about what it's worth today. We're thinking about what it's worth in 10 years, 20 years. And now is the time to be doing that. Now is the time to be setting yourself up for that. And the last one here is HODL. BlackRock is coming for your Bitcoin. MicroStrategy is coming for your Bitcoin. The US government will be coming for your Bitcoin. Not to seize it. They might try that. But in the long run, they're going to be trying to buy your Bitcoin. And so the longer that we hold on to this Bitcoin, the more it's going to go up in value. So 70K is nothing. 100K is nothing. 200K is nothing for what's coming. This is going to be, when we zoom out here in, in 10 years from now, $60,000, 
the difference between 60,000 and 100,000, it's going to be a rounding error. It's going to be a joke. So don't get too excited with the, the movement in price because we're not going to sell it. The longer that we hold on to Bitcoin, the more valuable it's going to be when we actually want to spend it. So don't start, like I said, don't get too, uh, don't get too horny about the price of Bitcoin right now. Just focus on getting as much as you can, keeping it safe, learning as much as you can, earning as much as you can, find whether it's a job that pays in Bitcoin or more likely just your services that you can earn Bitcoin for and then hold on to it for dear life. So many things happening right now. It's It's been a long four years. Let's just say that. There were uh, a lot of very low days in terms of Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was 16,000 bucks, not, not, not that I ever was worried about it, but it's just so much more exciting to be in the middle of a bull run right now. And so the best thing that we can do today is just prepare for what's coming because this, this train hasn't even left the station yet. Even though we're up, what, 10x in the last four years? This hasn't even started yet. So this is the beginning of the bull run. You should be taking as much of your time as possible, as much as your capital as possible and allocating it to Bitcoin today. And you, you're you going to set yourself self up so well for the future. So like I said, if you are somebody who wants to become a better Bitcoiner, you want to learn about Noster, you want to become part of a little network within Bitcoin. And of course, if you're a business owner or an employee who wants to be earning Bitcoin, consider, strongly consider checking out the Living in the Future Patreon tier. Like I said, seven days, free trial, five bucks a month after that. I guarantee you will not regret it. If you join for a month, you pay five bucks, you decide that whatever you got in return, your value isn't worth it, I will send you it back double in Bitcoin, honestly. Do as much as you can now, and that's kind of what we're building. We're getting ready.